All right, Bert, before Zach gets back, give me the final mission. I assume it's the final mission, I don't know. Usually these missions come in threes. Hey kid, we got another emergency. Another caravan from New Reno got hit. Oh no. This time, a bunch of energy weapons dealers were attacked. They were heavily guarded, so it must have been a tough fight. Their location is just up I-15 from the bridge. You'll have a hell of a time getting there. It's all Raider land the whole way. What well, sounds serious. You got their location? Sure do. Can't guarantee they're still there, though. You better hurry. I'm already there. There. Now run. Those guys probably don't have much time. Okay, just let me go. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Let's figure out what happened to this caravan. I wonder. Hmm. Keep yourself at the ready. I feel like we're walking into an ambush here. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a dead trooper here in that pile of ash. That's not a good sign. Oh, wait, there's one. There's a caravan Brahmin. Down here in the valley, huh? Just, just sitting here, huh? I'm sure this isn't a trap. No, couldn't possibly be. Well, let's go ahead and walk into it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guess who I found? It was the trap. Keep quiet. This will take care of most of our problems, I feel. Yep, yep. Doing good, doing well. Sorry about that. That was probably my fault. Whoa, you pushed they me into the them. trap. Oh, no, oh, no. Ouch, ouch. All right, so two Brahmin are alive. Two were caught in the crossfire. Yeah, yeah it's a 50% success rate. Of course, 0% uh, of the NCR soldiers are coming back, so you, you could argue it was less than successful. Grab the caravan, flare off the corpse, and now the cows follow. Okay, back to base. Marvelous. Got the cows. All right. I'm guessing by the empty roster that those boys never made it. What happened? It was a betrayal, apparently. The NCR were gunned down by their own guards. Was I supposed to know that? I didn't see a note on any of the bodies. Well, it was a betrayal, I guess. You're shitting me. God damn. How do you know? Yeah, how did I know? We can start by the piles of steaming ash and the fact that the guards were raiders. Why did we hire guards? Guards is raid. I, I'm sorry, I didn't follow this. If we can't trust our own contractors, who can we deal with? No offense, but you mercenaries are getting us in deep shit. I think that's a broad generalization. All over California, mercs are getting paid top dollar to stab us all in the back. Happens over and over every day. How is that my fault? Regardless, let me know if you need some Brahmin wrangled in the future. Come back and talk to me again. With things heating up, there's bound to be more work. You say that, but, uh, uh all right. Uh, how about now? All right, I got word from HQ in LA, and they're in real trouble. They sent a caravan our way, and it got a hit real bad. Oh, no. We got a set of static bursts from down south, and it checks out. Indications are that the Raiders are engaging them right now. HQ was trying to sneak them through the pass from San Berdu, but someone tipped him off. You do have a mole. Seeing as how HQ neglected to inform us of this action, I'm gonna place bets on the leak being in L.A. Uh, possibly. I'm gonna give you a command requisition and have you grab some men. This one sounds dangerous, kid. Hope you're ready. This might be tied into the fact that we ourselves were sold out by the NCR and don't know who did it. Do you have any idea what I'll be going up against? If Terra Max tipped him off, expect to encounter his psychonauts. They're total freaks. Weird hair, face paint, high on everything under the sun. They'll put up a fight. I'm gonna take a wild guess they'll have taken the Brahmin off course. You may be in for the long haul. I'm not worried. I'll grab some backup and handle those bastards. Give them hell. Wish I could go with you. Bear down, trooper. Why can't you go with me? Oh, the quiet, peaceful desert. Always lulling you into a false sense of... Oh, God! Mm. 
the uh, night vision scope is kind of blinding. Wish I could turn that off. Uh, wait, those are NCR soldiers. Oh, all right, cool. So the caravan isn't exploded yet. Sir. I got something for you. What did you get? Uh, Sir. Sir. Uh, you just killed the mantis. You thought you could hide forever? The caravan was hijacked by face. mantises. Stop shooting in my general direction. Sir. Caravan secured, I guess. Where is it? Nope, these are, uh, these are dead MCR soldiers. Zap your ass. There's Scorpion. There we go, there we go. These are the people. These are the people that took the caravan. Ah, Alright, let me just take shelf here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yep. Shh. Keep Drop quiet. that. Ouch. Ah, <laughs> I'll have to fix. Oh no. Who would have thought corn grenades would be a bad idea? They just don't roll very well. Mantises, get out of here. You're in the middle of a combat zone. Go. Ouch. So what was this? Their little raider base? The NCR caravan walked right past this. They didn't think there'd be somebody inside waiting to attack them. Voiceless Shack. I have no idea. Okay. There's the. All right. Let's leave. Worst raider base ever. Anyway, we'll pick up the flare and bring this caravan back home. And I guess the dog tags as well. Oh, Private Huang had a letter here. Dear journal or whatever, seriously, why the heck do they not let us cut the sleeves off these god-awful uniforms? I asked the sergeant, he's all, no, Huang, we have to respect our uniform, Huang. Go clean the latrine and think about how grateful you are that uniform keeps shit off your skin, Huang. <laughs> yeah, you could try to roll them, I guess. Why did I get stuck with such a hard ass for a squad leader? Busts my ass over just trying not to sweat to death, then wakes me up at the crack of dawn for some bulk baloney. Probably another fucking caravan escort, because that's totally the best use of NCR troops. I hate this place. Well, at least you don't have to endure the frustrations any longer. Rest easy. Oh, this gal had a letter too. Corporal Hannah Ford's letter. Dear Mike. What? I know it's been a couple weeks since I wrote you last. I don't have a good excuse for not keeping in touch, so I won't bore you with all of the bad ones. You know how I said it would be exciting to get the chance to see the East? Shows what I know. I haven't seen anything I couldn't have come across back on the ranch. And if I have to fill out another after-action review for a dust-up in the canteen, or file an evidentiary notice for some morons illegally smuggled mantis eggs, I'm gonna do the survivalists a favor and wrap my lips around the end of my service rifle. Must be something on our mom's side. As far as I can tell, this assignment is a dead end. Maybe once upon a time, Union City looked like an opportunity to someone back home, but that's before half of it got shot, burned, blown to shit, wrestling it away from the Raiders. Trying to go ten rounds with the Fraternity of Iron, or whatever boneheaded thing the Technocultists are calling themselves these days. Yada yada yada, that's all it's fit to print. Da -da 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 -da. Your sister, Meg. Oh, I wondered what happened to my sister, Meg. Sleep easy, Meg. Does everybody have a letter to read? My god. Dear Dad, the circumstances here are far, far worse than you could have imagined. We've been embroiled in several different combat situations with the survivalists, and things don't seem to be going any better. In fact, it definitely looks like there might be a full-fledged war flaring up. There's even talk that General Silverman has resorted to hiring mercs to make up for manpower shortages while he's waiting on extra troops from the hub. You must stop Billy from joining up, or he'll end up here too. As for me, I'm okay. I'm just getting tired. Sleep is getting harder, and I'm getting haunted by all those horrific things in my dreams. Feeling like a zombie inside, come and visit. I mean, why not? I know this letter is different to my usual lighthearted ones to mom, but uh, you, I know you understand. Love, John Oaks. Oh. Sleep well, John Oaks. This guy right here, nothing? All right, cool. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Garcia's letter. Dear Juan, I can't do this anymore. I'm, I've tried, I've tried, and I can't. Every day I heard, I just can't forgive you for just abandoning me. I want a divorce. Ah, oh, I got a Dear John letter, that sucks. I'm not going to rob you blind. I'm not rushing off into the arms of some other man, but I can't do this anymore. I'm so sorry. Stay safe, Ashley. Well, rest in peace, Juan. 
Caravan ambush plan. Oh, ho, the raiders left notes because they're masterminds. Get to the I-15 bomb crater, set the fat man mine for the NZR bastards along the road, and a spread of frag mines off to the west. Take them out and drag the Brahmin back to Athens if you have to. Leave ten men behind to catch our vault dweller friend. I want them all dead. So I guess they've taken the Brahmin to Athens tech? I feel like we were just there, but okay, back to Athens tech. Past all the corpses. Yep, super mutant corpses, raider corpses. Outlander! We have your cows, Outlander! Uh, okay. I bet you the ambush was being laid while we were here murdering everybody in Athens tech. So they came back with four cows. Hey everybody, I brought back the Brahmin. Why is this entire town of a thousand people dead already? What is with all the mutant corpses? Yep, still still unpopulated because we murdered everybody. Oh ho, there's the Brahmin. There's our caravan Brahmin. Where is the guy who brought them here? Pretty sure we murdered all these guys. Yeah, there's Hrafnuckle. Pretty sure these guys were dead before the caravan arrived. Where's the caravan leader? Where's the guy who brought the caravan? <laughs> it's you, isn't it? I brought back all these caravans by myself and there's literally no one here! It's just me, please spare me! Got anything to say? You're fleeing cereal griller? <laughs> alright. Um, alright, who's got the flare? Oh, yep, just drop the flare here. Alright, got the flare. Bring back the cows, I guess. Ah. Uh, Let's, let's be thorough. Ah! Okay, Serial Griller is now dead. Got the cows, back to base. Guess who's back with cows, it's me. My God, what the hell happened out there? Radio reports sound like a war erupted. You must be referring to when Zack and I infiltrated Athens Tech and then shot everybody on our way out. Good God! Did you really plow through Athens and just take these cattle back? The raiders were already dead, but yes, I did go into the mine to get the cows back. Jesus, you're a freaking monster! How in the hell did... You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. You kicked her asses. That's all I need to know. Yeah? HQ passed along the note that they're not sending any further reinforcements by land. We're on our own. They gotta send them by sea? With you here, I don't feel so bad. You've done the Republic a true service. Here's a hundred dollars and a letter to General Silverman for a commendation, signed by our senior staff. Okay. Damn, I'm proud to have met you. You're gonna be a legend out there. They'll be telling your story for decades, mark my words. I'm sure they will. Alright, thank you for your time, Bert. Happy to serve the NCR in any capacity I have. Hope you had fun resting your butt on this mailbox. We're off to save the world, you want to join us? You know, take on the super mutant horde? No? You're gonna sit this one out, are you, Bert? Damn, it was an honor meeting you. Good luck out there with whatever you're doing. Uh, saving the world. You sure you don't want to participate in that? You know, you live on the world. Seems like you might have a vested interest in that. No? Okay. Fine. I, I'm just not going to say that. Bye, Bert Gun Gar Grumman. Let us know if any more caravans get in trouble. I don't know if he's named after Bert Gummer from Tremors or if he's named after Grumman, the aircraft company. Also, the company that made the U.S. Postal Trucks? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he's named Grumman, because he's named after the Grumman LLV. I wouldn't know. Which, is, which stands for Long Life Vehicle. I wouldn't know that either. They were built on a Chevy S10 frame. <laughs> they also have repeated problems of, one, there's no frickin' air conditioning in them, and two, the windshield washer fluid bottle is stored right above the battery, so sometimes they catch fire. Why do you remember all this? Trade information because uh, it's fun to know stuff about the Grumman LLV. Oh, okay. 
There's also another one that's, I, th I, I forget what it is. I think it's like the FLV. I forget what the exact nomenclature is, but it's a slightly longer mail truck. It's got a little window behind it. <laughs> that's how you can tell the difference. Those ones are built on a Ford Ranger frame, I think. Sure they are. Okay. I can't remember exactly. I really want one of them, but I don't know if I want one because they're actually good. They're not good. Let me, let's get that out of the way. The Grumman LLV and the, the, the FLV, like the slightly longer one, they're not good trucks. Mm -hmm. They're bad. They're, they're not good. They're not comfortable. I don't know one. I don't know if I want one because I have an inherent love for terrible vehicles. Maybe. Or if I want one because it's a thing that I can't have and I always want the thing I can't have. Uh, grass is always greener. I'm not sure. It's one of the reasons that I want an AS Val, even though AS Val's Russian trash. Yes, yes. Yeah.